Notice in the public, if you wish to address the council, please complete the public wish to address the council form located on either end of the counter and give it to either the chairman or the council clerk prior to the beginning of the meeting. All comments must be addressed to the council as a whole. Addressing individual council members or staff is not allowed. Speakers should be courteous in their choice of words and actions and comments. Shall be limited to the issue and cannot involve individuals or staff related matters. All cell phone pages and electronic devices used for communication should be silenced for the duration of the meeting. I'd like to call the Budget and Finance Committee meeting of August 7, 2023 at 5.30 to order and I'll have the, the prayer to pledge by Mr. Yes, Carly. <laughs> Press your button, Carly. Heavenly Father, as we come here and uh, take up the opportunity that you, your grace and mercy have brought us safe thus far, we understand, O oh God, that in being a servant, that to serve uh, is Christ, uh, and we living uh, uh, to do so, O oh God, up here. As we go forward, O oh God, we ask that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding come from on high, O oh God, that we can may, may take care of the affairs uh, of this parish and uh, be upgrade, uh, gr upgrade to some of the circumstances through either and all the other things that happen around us, the heat and those things that are considered, O oh God, in your darling son Jesus' name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Harding. We surely can I roll call, please. <coughs> Mr. Darren Gidry, Mr. Babin, yes. Mr. Dirk Gidry, yes. Mr. Trustclair, Mr. Pledger, Mr. Harding, Mr. Michelle, Mr. Armady, yes. Ms. Jessica Dumey. Mr. Chairman, you have a quorum present. Thank you, Ms. Charlie. Item one, resolution covered with parish administration to award bid number 21-S slash P-49, rebid surplus sale of adjudicated property located at 4290 Force Drive, 100% to Mindy Dupre. Move Mr. Trostclair, second by Ms. Domang. Seeing no lights, please vote your machines. The vote is nine to zero. Thank you. Thank you. Item two, resolution covered parish administration to award bid number 22-S slash P-76 rebid surplus sale of adjudicated property located at 145 Octavia Street, 50% to Larry Antoine. Oh, Move Mr. Hardy, second by Mr. Amadi. Seeing no lights, please vote your machines. The vote is nine to zero. Item three, concurred with parish administration to award bid number 22-S slash P-78, surplus sale of adjudicated property located at 103 Rinald Street, 100% to Brandon Abar. Well, Mr. Trostclair, second by Mr. Darren Gidry. Seeing no lights, vote your machines. The vote is nine to zero. Item four, concurring with parish administration, award bid number 22-S slash P-79, surplus sale of adjudicated property located at 212 Renault Street, 100% to Brandon Abar. Oh, Move Mr. Trostclair, second by Mr. Darren Gidry. Seeing no lights, please vote your machines. The vote is 9-0. Item five, concurring with parish administration, to award bid number 22-S slash P-82, Surplus sale of adjudicated property located at 411 Morgan Street, 100% to Kawanda Williams. Second. Move by Mr. Harding, second by Mr. Pledger. Seeing no lights, please vote your machines. The vote is 9 to 0. Item 6, concurred with parish administration to award bid number 22-S slash P. 83 surplus sale of adjudicated property located at 714 Russell Street, 100% to Mahonda Trench. Second. Moved by Mr. Pledger, second by Mr. Amadi. Seeing no lights, please vote your machines. Somebody didn't vote. Eight to nothing. Eight to, to zero. One of us didn't vote. Chad did. Oh, nine zero. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Okay, item seven, concurrent with parish administration to award bid number 22-S slash P-83, 
1-800-2-84, surplus sale of adjudicated property at 424 Levron, Levron Street, 100% to Kenneth Chambers. Second. Move Mr. Pledger, second by, I mean, moved by Mr. Harding, second by Mr. Pledger. See no lights, please vote your machine. I'll make sure I vote this time. The vote is 9 0. Uh, concur with parish, we number eight, right? Number eight. Concur with parish administration to award bid number 22 S P 88, surplus sale of adjudicated property located at 7326 Trudy Street. And slash 237 Henderson Street, 100% to Juan Carlos. Well, Ms. Domingue, second by Mr. Trosclare. See no lights, please vote your machines. Nine to zero. Item nine, concur with parish administration to award bid number 22-S slash P-91, surplus sale of adjudicated property located at 354 Morrison Street, 100% to Michael Rogers. Move by Mr. Hardy. Second by Mr. Amadee. See no lights. Please vote your machines. 9-0. Item 10, concurred with your parish administration to award bid number 22-S slash P-93, surplus sale of adjudicated property located at 106 Hacienda Drive, 100% to Carlos Padilla. Move by Ms. Domingue. Second by Mr. Amadee. See no lights. Please vote your machines. The vote is 9 to 0. Concur with Travis administration to award bid number 22-S slash P-95, surplus sale of adjudicated property, located at 171 Marjorie Street, 100% to Amber Loop. Mm -hmm. Moved by Mr. Babin, second by Mr. Who did Michelle. it? Michelle. See no lights, please vote your machines. Okay. The vote is 9 0. Item 12, concur with parish administration to award bid number 22 S slash P 96, surplus sale of adjudicated property located at 5849 Grand Cayo Road, 100% to Ricky Guidry. Move by Mr. Babin, second by Mr. Gerald Michel. <laughs> Seeing no lights, please vote your machines. The vote is 9 0. Item 13, concur with parish administration to award the request for bids received for the Hurricane Ida repairs to the home of fire station multiple sites to Pecola Inn Construction Company and authorize the parish president and or his designee to execute the contract and to provide for related matters. Move. Move Mr. Amadee, second by Harding. Mr. Harding. Please vote your machines. Okay, item 14, concur with parish administration to approve the purchase of park equipment for Preskill R Park from Struthers Recreation LLC slash game time through the Louisiana State Contract number 4400017443. Move by Mr. Steve Trostclare, second by Mr. De Ms. Domang. Please vote your machines. 9 to 0. Item 15, concur with parish administration for the state contract purchase of one truck from Solid Dodge for the Home and Fire Department. Move by Mr. Hardy, second by Mr. Amadee. Please vote your machines. 9 to 0. Admin, amending resolution number 23 075 to reflect a price increase for the state contract purchase of two trucks from Solid Dodge. Move by Mr. Amadee, second by Mr. Babin. Please vote your machines. Vote is 9 0. Item 17, authorizing the filling of an application with the Louisiana Department of Transportation <laughs> of Development for a grant under 49 CFR 5311, formula grant for rural areas 49 CFR 5339 grants for bus and bus facility programs. Move by Mr. Babin, second by Mr. Amadi. Okay, Mr. Harding. Yeah, um, and we actually, uh, Ms. Candace, uh, the difference between Turbo Park and South Delta Government and Good Earth Transit, uh, I want to put this out there, if you don't mind putting it out there, the difference between what we're doing here and reference to how federal funds are coming to us 
uh, uh, and what is being used for it. Yes, sir, Mr. Harding. This is allowing Terrebonne, uh, Terrebonne Council on Aging to put in an application to purchase buses for the elderly programs. So it is different than the transit buses that Terrebonne Parish runs. We are just having to support Council on Aging and putting in this application. All right, thank you. Just putting the information out there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Hoyle. Ms. Candace, please vote your machines. Yep. <clears throat> Nine to zero. Introduce an order, introduce an order to declare a surplus 17 tax properties adjudicated to the Terrebonne Parish Consolidated Government and to acquire authorization to dispose of said property in accordance with LARS 47 semicolon 2196 and calling a public hearing on said matter on Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. Move well. by Mr. Harding, second by Mr. Amadi. Seeing no lights, please vote your machines. Okay, 9-0, introduce an ordinance to declare a surplus adjudicated property located at 111 Montague Street in Terrible Parish Con Consolidated Government has 99.45% interest and to acquire authorization to dispose of said property in accordance with LARS 47-47 uh, semicolon 2196 and calling a public hearing on said matter on August 23rd, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. Move by Mr. Trostler, second by Ms. Domang. Seeing no lights, please vote your machines. 9-0, item 20, introduce an ordinance to declare a surplus five tax properties adjudicated to the Terrebonne Parish Consolidated Government, which the parish has percentage interest and to acquire authorization to dispose of said properties in accordance with LARS 47 semicolon 2196, they're calling a public hearing on said matter on Wednesday, August 22nd, 23rd at 2023 at 6.30 p.m. Move. Move by Mr. Amadi. Second. Second by Mr. Harding. Seeing no lights, vote your machines. Item 21, introduce the daughters to declare a surplus tap property adjudicated to the Terrebonne Parish Consolidated Government in which the parish has 3.7% interest and to acquire authorization to dispose of said property in accordance with LARS 47 semicolon 2196 and calling a public hearing on said matter on Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. Yeah. Move by Mr. Michel, second by Mr. Amadi. Please vote your machines. 9-0. <clears throat> Introduce an order to declare surplus tax property adjudicated to the Terrible Parish Consolidated Government in which the parish has a 0.24% interest and to acquire authorization to dispose of said property in accordance with LARS 47 semicolon 2196 and calling a public hearing on said matter on Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. So Move by Mr. Amadi, second by Mr. Trosclair. Seeing no... Lights, please vote your machines. Item 23, introduce an ordinance to declare surplus two tax properties adjudicated to the Terrebonne Parish Consolidated Government in which the parish has a percentage interest in to acquire authorization to dispose of said property in accordance with LARS 47 semicolon 2196 and call a public hearing on said matter on Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. Move by Mr. Trostclair, second by Darren. Mr. Darren Gidry. Please vote your machines. <clears throat> Nine zero. Item 24, introduce an ordinance to amend the 2023 adopted operating budget and five-year capital outlay budget for the Terrebonne Parish Consolidated Government for the following items and to provide for related matters. Dedicated event fund, $22,473,000. Dedicated emergency fund, $755,000. Dedicated emergency fund, $12,224,387. Dedicated emergency fund, $5 million. City court, $20,890. They called a public hearing on said matter on Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. Okay. Move by Mr. Gidry, second by Mr. Amadi. Mr. Babin. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Candace, 
This is a lot of millions, and we just want to put this out for everybody because over the next two weeks, they'll see this in the newspaper and want to know why we're spending $39 million on things. So yeah. can you yeah. please explain this to everybody where it's going? I know it's an hour back up, but they don't have the benefit can of Can you push a little button? Please? Go ahead, Ms. Mulder. Yes, sir. Thank you. So the $22 million, um, the first number, is the current year-to-date expenditures on Hurricane Ida recovery. So that is what we have spent from January 1 until probably, um, I would say, June 30th, because we haven't closed July yet. We have to recognize the expenditures in our budget. It's part of state law procedures that we have to be within the 5%. So we're recognizing the expenditures. Um, so that's the $22 million. The $755,000, if you remember, we had done a $50 million bond um, earlier in 2022. This is um, to recognize the interest payment on that bond. The $12 million is the insurance refunds um, that we have received in 2023. And the dedicated emergency fund for the 5 million, we had done a community disaster loan, and this is recognizing that 5 million to come in. Now, the 22 million of the expenses to date will either be offset by our FEMA reimbursements, the remainder of the insurance that we should collect, um, or that $50 million of that bond payment that we'll eventually pay back with FEMA as it comes in. All right. Now, you said the $12,224,000 was interest payments. Insurance. I'm sorry. You said interest. That's why. Insurance. I, if it would have been interest that we'd have gotten, it would have been, been a negative. Nice. Yeah, it would have been a negative also. Okay. Correct. No, it's the insurance and that everything on here is what we have received in 2023. So it doesn't include the prior year so, stuff. So, so mainly the reason we're seeing this right now is because by state law, you have to have this as a line item, so to speak, yes, on sir. your budget. Okay? Yes, sir. And it's all we feel is going to be paid by one of the three things, the 50 million insurance and or FEMA. Yes, sir. And we um, are currently starting our 2024 budget. So that's what kind of pushed this Correct. You need to, to where that. we're at now. So you probably will see an adjustment as we get closer to the end of the year as Correct. well. Okay. Thank you very much for the explanation. I'm sure the people out there will appreciate that. Yes, sir. Okay. Seeing no further lights, please vote your machines. Nine zero. Motion adjourned. Motion adjourned, Mr. Amadi. Second by Mr. Harding. Please vote your machines. Vote is nine to zero. Good evening. Notice to the public, if you wish to address the council, please complete the public wishing to address the council forms located on either end of the counter and, and give them to either the chairman or the council clerk prior to the beginning of the meeting. All comments must be addressed uh, to the council as a whole. Addressing individual council member, members or staff is not allowed. Speakers should be courteous in their choice of words and actions and comments shall be limited to the issues and cannot involve individuals or staff related matters. All cell phones and electronic devices used for communications uh, should be silenced for the duration of the meeting. We will now call the Public Service Committee meeting to order. We have a uh, invocation and pledge of allegiance led by Mr. John Amadi. Dear Lord, we ask that you would guide us so that this meeting could be productive. Lord, we pray that you satisfy the needs that need to be met during this meeting, and Lord, strengthen us as we make tough decisions. Father, let us be effective and decisive 
And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Amandy. Uh, Ms. Charlie, could you give us a roll call, please? Yes, sir. Mr. Darren Guidry? Yes. Mr. Babin? Yes. Mr. Dirk Guidry? Mr. Trustclair? Yes. Mr. Pledger? Mr. Harden, Mr. Here. Michelle, Here. Mr. Amity, Here. Ms. Domain, Here. Mr. Chairman, you have a quorum present. Thank you very much. Uh, item number one, resolution awarding and authorizing the signing of a construction contract to the front of Foray Contracting Group, LLC, for parish project number 21-PARK-66FPNC, uh, project number 50 N. TG-13-01 Bayou Country Sports Park Boys Concession, Turbine Parish, Louisiana, and authorizing the insurance issuance of the notice to proceed to com uh, commence construction of said project. Move. Second. Moved by uh, Ms. Domain. I'm not moved by Mr. Armady, second by Ms. Uh, Ms. Domain. Uh, Mr. Babin. Yeah, just one, one clarification. It's a typo. It's not District 7. It's, it's probably Districts 3, 5, whatever, two or three of them, okay? But it's not District 7, by Country Sports Park. Thank you. Uh, yes, any more discussion? Uh, members of the Fortune Machine? Uh, we have uh, nine years. Item number two, res uh, resolution authorizing the parish president to execute an intergovernmental agreement on the behalf of the Turbine Power Consolidated Government uh, for the installation of gas utilities for gas iron cash line, uh, gas lines improvement phase 21 project number 23-gas-28 at Homo so Airport. Sorry. Moved by Mr. Uh, Doug Gidry, second by uh, Mr. Um, Pleasure uh, in the discussion. Members vote your machine. Mr. Toops. You want to take the vote first or can I explain? You can explain. Just want to let everybody know that this will allow us to change the remaining roughly one mile of cast iron pipe that we discovered in our gas distribution system. And in turn, that will allow us to increase the working pressure for the whole system from 25 pounds to 30 pounds. And it don't look like much, but this will help alleviate the problem that we have when all these emergency generators come online. And it's, it's um, the emergency generators, uh, demand exceeds the supply. So it is five pounds of pressure makes a big difference. Once we finish this phase, then we'll move on to the next phase, which is the uh, changing of the PVC pipe in the uh, Presque Island uh, community. But that's going to be on the next council agenda. So I just wanted to let everybody know what this exactly was and what it's for. Thank you. Any more discussion? Members, vote your machine. We did already. We all did already, and we actually have uh, nine years. Item number three, resolution authorizing the sole source proprietorship purchase of one fleet, flight submergible point, uh, pump NT3315.185-639 uh, IPM, 110 horsepower, 460V3, and monitoring kit for the Gum Street sewer lift station for the sewage collection division. Moved by Mr. Doma and second, um, uh, and second by Mr. Amadi. Uh, any discussion? Members of your machine? Uh, we have nine yeas. Item number four, introducing the ordinance to authorize the parish president to execute on the behalf of the Turbine Parish Consolidated Government a contract of lease uh, where we're in Turbine Parish Consolidated Government leases from the Turbine Parish Recreation District Number Eight 
5575 Bayou Black Drive, Homer, Louisiana, for placing a portable use uh, on said property for use of classroom space and turbine power consolidated government's Head Start program and call for a public hearing on Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023, at 6.30 p.m. Moved by Mr. Almady, second by Mr. Michel. Uh, any discussion, members of the machine? We have nine yeas. <clears throat> Item number five, introducing the ordinance to authorize the parish president to execute on behalf of Turbo Parish Consolidated Government a contract or lease wherein uh, the Turbo Parish Consolidated Government lease from the con 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 congregation of Our League and the Most Holy Rosary Catholic Church, 121 Ros uh, uh, Rosary Street, Home of Louisiana Classroom Space, for use of Turbon Parish Consolidated Government Head Start Program and call for a public hearing on said matter on Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023, at 6.30 p.m. Moved by Ms. Doman, second by Mr. Pledger. Uh, any discussion? Members vote your machine. We have nine yeas. Item number six, resolution, giving notice of intent to introduce an ordinance to adopt the new FEMA flood insurance study and flood insurance rate maps for Turbon Parish dated October 8, 2021 and effective September 7, 2023 and call a public hearing on said matter on Wednesday, August 23, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. Moved by Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Amadi, second by uh, Mr. Trustclair. Uh, we have a light, Mr. Babin. Yes. As we all know, this is going to be pretty controversial. And over the next two weeks, a lot of people are going to be talking about this. Okay. This is, yeah, Jews, you can look at me funny like that. There's a lot of people that, that are going to say we we voting to, to, uh, to accept the maps, because this has been talked about for the last number of years. In fact, a, a, a correspondence from Garrett Graves said that Terrebonne did not co uh, did not comment on this. I don't know if they meant Terrebonne citizens or Terrebonne consolidated government. But I want everybody in the community to just pay attention to this over the next two weeks. Our hands are being tied on this. All right, this is this is a very 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 important issue. So I want people to make sure they get informed, but get informed the right way, please, okay? And this parish is not trying to ram something down somebody's throat. This is the federal government that's ramming it down our throat. So please make yourself aware over the next two weeks, because this will come up uh, at our, well, I guess, the 23rd, 23rd. meeting, okay? And uh, it's a very important issue. Thank you. Any more discussion? Members, what's your machine? We have nine yeas. Motion adjourned. Motion adjourned by Mr. Uh, Amadee, second by Mr. Uh, Dirk Guidry. All in favor, vote your machines. <coughs> 30 minutes. <laughs> Notice to the public, if you wish to address the council, please complete the public wishing to address the council form located on either end of the counter and give it either to the chairman or the council clerk prior to the beginning of the meeting. All comments must be addressed to the council collectively. Addressing individual council members or staff is not allowed. Speakers should be courteous in their choice of words and actions and comments shall be limited to the issue and cannot involve individuals or staff related matters. Thank you. 
All cell phones and electronic devices used for communication should be silenced for the duration of the meeting. I call a meeting of the Policy and Procedure and Legal Committee of Terrebonne Parish Council to order and ask for an invocation. Uh, and and I'll, I'll do the invocation in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we lost Father Mark Beard in an automobile accident last week, but he was in such a manner that anyone would be proud. His final sermon advises us all to do the right thing all the time and to follow every aspect of our faith, not just the ones that are easy for us. So I, I hope that, that we as a council and people in this parish can heed his advice and, uh, and, and we pray for his soul. And we ask this in all things through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, can we get a roll call, please, ma'am? Yes, yes, sir. Mr. Darren Gidrick, Mr. Babin, Mr. Dirk Gidry, Mr. Trustclare, Mr. Pledger, Mr. Harding, Mr. Michelle, Here. Mr. Amity, Ms. Domain. Here. Mr. Chairman, you have a quorum present. Thank you oh so much. Item one, approve the co-sponsorship request from the St. Elwa Knights of Columbus, number 8779, for the Bayou de Large Knights of Columbus Cajun Fair to be held October 6th through 8th, 2023, at 1330 Dr. Beatrice Road. Second. Moved by Mr. Danny Bavin, second by uh, Mr. Dirk Gidry. And I see no lights. Please cast your votes. Nine to zero. Item two, approve the co-sponsorship request from LITA Corp for the LITA Corp workshop to be held August 14, 2023 from 12 noon to 2 p.m. at Dumas Auditorium. Move. Move, moved by Mr. Dirk Gidry, second by Mr. Uh, Mr. Pledger, seeing no late lights, please cast your votes. With nine yeas, motion carries. Item three, approve the co-sponsorship request from We Inspire Louisiana for the Boo and the Bayou Festival to be held October 29, 2023, from 2 to 6 p.m. at Dumas Auditorium. Moved by Mr. Carly Harding, second by Mr. Dirk Guidry. Seeing no lights, please cast your votes. With nine yeas, motion carries. Motion adjourned, Ms. Doming, second by Mr. Yeah, uh, Darren Gidry. Mr. Toombs got something to say. Sure. Yeah, I'd like to announce to the council that uh, uh, on behalf of President Doug, we have a groundbreaking for the Hollywood Road Extension Bridge Project. Tomorrow morning, 930, um, you have to go down Hollywood Road. You can't get to it from Highway 182. If you go all the way to the end of Hollywood Road Extension, when you hit South Down Mandalay, there's a vacant lot on the right. We'll have a, a grade all there. And again, it starts at 930. I apologize for the letter. Yeah. Okay. Mandalay Road also. But I apologize, but thank okay. you. Thank you for the update. Uh, please cast your votes for adjournment. With almost